What a special surprise here at the Way 31 Studios. Nolan and I here joined by the head coach of HCFC, Jack Collison. Jack, thanks so much for, for coming in today. How ex Just to get things started, how excited are you for the season to start this Saturday on the Red at Chattanooga? Uh, we can't wait. I mean, it's been a long, long off season and obviously a lot of really good work's gone on behind the scenes and um, a very productive preseason. But for the actual games now to start and Obviously, a great start as well, Chattanooga. Hopefully, it's going to become a bit of a rivalry with obviously us being so close. Yep. And obviously, the week after that, back at the Joe for two games in a row as well. So, no, we can't wait. Yeah, and obviously, with, with the season coming up, you've had some preseason games. And then later today, you get to uh, unveil your new uniforms. Yeah. How excited are you about that? <laughs> have you gotten a sneak peek? How do they look? I haven't. The players haven't. They're oh, you haven't they're, seen they're, they're all over the moon. They're, they're so impressed with, with obviously the great work. And we say it all the time, look good, feel good, play good. And it, it's great that they get to obviously put on some wonderful kits. But also jerseys that really represent the community and yeah. the city. And I'm excited for everyone to see it tonight. So it would be good. You know, talking about the preseason, I, uh, you know, it's kind of a grind. You guys had some games get canceled. <laughs> you had to add some games. Well, what was it like to, to get with the guys before the season started and, and get some good work running? Yeah, I, I think being flexible throughout preseason is important. And obviously being the second team as well, there's a lot of movement between Huntsville and Nashville, which is obviously great because the guys are getting exposure up there at Nashville with Gary. And then obviously down here, we're obviously trying to build for the season, which is which has been our main aim. And I think the real pleasing thing, that the team's really evolved in the off season. There was always a, a focus to become a little bit younger, use more academy kids. And, and it's been great that these youngsters have got the opportunities in preseason have really stepped up. And then obviously alongside that, we managed to keep the experience, the likes of Johnny Bolaños, obviously Oli Wright, the yep. fans' favorite, <laughs> Izzy Johnston, Fernando. So there's a real core of good people and good players who understand what Huntsville's all about. And then just an exciting young crop who have got so much potential. So we're looking forward to seeing how they start the season. That's kind of what's interesting about this season, that it, it is the second year that you guys are here. So you have Ali and Johnny that, are, that have come back. What's it like to have maybe some experience now and you're familiar with where they're practicing, where they're playing, with the community, with, the, with that kind of thing, with the returning guys? I think the great thing for us as a coaching staff is not only are they good players, they're good people. And players that we trust on the pitch and off the pitch and the challenge now for these guys, we've made a leadership group, is, is them trying to carry on the expectations within the changing, group, uh, changing room, around the training ground. Um, and really being good mentors for these for these young guys. As I said, it's a it's a team full of bags of potential, and we all know in life the toughest thing is to to turn that potential into performance and consistent performances. And we know if we get it right, we're we're going to have a good year. And if we're struggling a little bit, there's going to be some difficult moments. But I'm really pleased with these with these older guys. They've really stepped up and and shown some incredible leadership skills. MLS Next Pro, it's 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 been evolving since it started just a couple of years ago. This season, there's a couple of new teams, one of them being Chattanooga, who you guys face off against this Saturday. That's an interesting situation because yeah. that's another team that is separate of an MLS uh, club and, and that is not in the same city. They don't even, they're not even affiliated, you say. So what's that going to be like to have another team that will have a fan base and it'll be another stadium that's filled kind of like how it had, was last year in Huntsville? Yeah, speaking like of how we've evolved, uh, I think the league's evolving and year on year there's, there's markers and expectations and... I think with our situation being so unique last year in terms of being an independent team in our own place and having that incredible incredible fan base behind us, but also that link to Nashville, I think the league have looked at it and, and obviously they want to bring in more teams, yeah. more independent teams and create bigger challenges for a lot of the, the young up and coming players throughout the country. So, so excited to welcome Chattanooga and not only is it going to be a local rival, they're a, a fantastic team. Rod yep. Underwood's done an incredible job there. Really fun to watch and I think we all know about their fan base. We've seen the pre-season blast off battle. <laughs> they, they brought the band down and um, you can guarantee it's going to be a stadium full of energy and it'll be great to see our youngsters to see how they react to, to maybe a little bit of abuse from the crowd and, and obviously having to deal with that pressure as well. Last year you started the season on the road for six or seven straight games. This year you start the season on the road again. How important it is is it to get a win to start the year this Saturday in Tennessee? Yeah, I, I think I see our schedule's almost re reversed this season. Four of the first six are at home at the Joe and um, spoke very openly about trying to 
create that fortress there. Mm -hmm. And I must say the fans did an incredible job, win, lose or draw last year. We felt their love and support. And now it's just about the foundations are in place. How do we build on it? How do we make it better? Um, and obviously for us, with a, a heavy loaded front end of the schedule with lots of home games, we, we want to get off to a fast start for sure. Last year, kind of trying to find your footing here in Huntsville, the team trying to find its footing. This year, are the goals a little higher? Is, is there expectations to maybe bring home a, a cup? Yeah, of, of course. That's, that's, what, <laughs> that's what we do. We all, we all love what we do. And ultimately, we want to be successful. We, we want to bring silverware to Huntsville. And obviously, for us, the, the first objective is to qualify for the playoffs. So top eight in the, in the Eastern Conference is a very realistic target we feel within the group. And trying to get into the dance and see what happens. And then alongside that, our biggest challenge of, of being that sort of second team to Nashville is ensuring mm -hmm. that there's always that eye on the development of the young players as well. We, we want not only to be successful as a group, we want individuals making that step and knocking on the door for Gary Smith at Nashville and hopefully creating some MLS superstars along, along with the process. So now that you, you've been here for a couple of years, you got your feet wet, you know, the, the area a little more. What's it been like moving move to Alabama? I know you spent some time in Georgia before you were here, but now that you have a full year, uh, a new season ahead of you, what, what's kind of been your takeaways of, of what's what's been building here in, in yeah, Huntsville, no, Alabama? Yeah, no, I love it. And I honestly, I fully immerse myself in the community. You see me out there playing in the men's league in the week. <laughs> um, made a lot of really good friends, good people here. And, and as I said, that love and support that we felt as a group throughout the entirety of last season, good and the bad, was just incredible. And I think that's going to inspire this young group this year to, to really give absolutely everything every week. And I'm sure if they're doing that, they're going to be, going to be successful this year. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for joining us here in <laughs> studio here at Way 31. You can catch the HCFC soccer team on the road this Saturday against Chattanooga. And, of course, they'll be back home for their home opener next Friday. For Jack Collison, I'm Nolan Knight with Roy 31 Sports.